As well as our sporting records being broken on now a daily basis at the Rio Olympics, other records are being broken too. <laughs> this year, triple the number of condoms have been handed out and it looks like they're being put to good use. Because get this, you know the dating app Tinder, they've mm. said that the number of profiles that have been set up in the Olympic Village has increased by 129%. Oh a lot of athletes <laughs> looking for love <laughs> in Rio. Wow. But, so obviously, you know, they're, they're doing something specific to try and find love. You know, they're, they're setting themselves up on an app. Would, would you go that far? Uh, well, before I get to that, yeah. I thought they weren't allowed to, you know what, while they're competing. Yeah, some of them are finished. Yeah, some of them have won their medals. Of course, yeah. yeah. Then they've got to hang around, what they're going to do. And they've got all that energy. They can't <laughs> go swimming. <laughs> and they're very fit. They're very fit. They're very fit. Yeah. <laughs> Because footballers can't do no. think that for well they're not <laughs> supposed to but they, they can't can they no. no it's true and apparently with the obviously the ancient Greeks and the Olympics that obviously where it all started yes. that's what they were told yeah. that to not the ancient Greeks do didn't that. do it either no. not, not before, <laughs> before oh, the maybe you're an ancient Greek maybe I am. <laughs> No, he's an ancient Brit. But, but anyway, back to love. 